So, you have arrived to Stockholm for the very first time and you're thinking, okay, what's next? Well, I will tell you what is next in this new video. I will show you everything to do and what not to do when you first arrive in Stockholm. Most people arrive by Arlanda Express. They're coming from the airport and they're taking this train. It's about a 20 minute ride from the airport directly to Central Station. So this is where they arrive when they come to Stockholm. There's different ways, of course, uh, of arriving. You can take a taxi, you can take an Uber, um, bus, train. There's different, different possibilities and I will show you all of them today. So here on the left, when you get out of the train, there's the ticket office. And of course, you want to go to the toilet straight away over there. You just walk straight ahead to the main hall of Central Station. It's quite nice, you're not arriving into chaos directly. Um, there's a lot of people over there in the Central Hall, um, but here it's usually quite relaxed. A lot of the tourists, they actually go to the ice bar. And the ice bar is located directly next to Central Station. You can actually see it from here. It is a little bit cheesy, but it's very Swedish. So yeah, why not? So, arriving in the main hall. So, when you come in here, you see many restaurants. Um, I do not suggest you buy anything here in the main hall. First of all, it's nothing Swedish. And second of all, it's very expensive. So, yeah, don't buy anything around here. Before we go in there, we first go to the bus terminal, which is up here. So besides the, the, the fast train, the Arlanda Express, all the people here arrive by bus. It's a little bit cheaper, um, but it takes a bit longer, of course. So I would still suggest you take the train. Uh, the, yeah, the train, exactly. You can see all the departures, um, everything is in English as well, so quite easy. You can see the shuttle bus, everything. restaurants and shops as well here not much happening so if you arrive by bus you arrive on this side So here you see the airport bus. Yeah, so these are the two main ways of arriving into Stockholm. 
the airport shuttle bus or the fast train we just saw five minutes ago. So let's go down back to the main hall. So, once you arrive in Stockholm Central Station, you probably want to go to your hotel or maybe travel further within Sweden and I will show you how to do it. Very simple. Well, to start off with, a lot of the hotels are walking distance here, so you can just have a walk. I can clearly see there's uh, many tourists right now. It was almost like two years ago I, I saw this many. So this is the hall, very beautiful. All right, so let's say you haven't found an hotel yet and you want to look for accommodation or you want to ask some things. Then here you have the tourist information desk right in the middle of the, um, of the hall. It's actually closed right now. Maybe it's only open during the day. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, it's, it's very helpful. Um, here in the middle is actually perfect meeting point. You see a lot of people uh, meeting each other from Stockholm they always say let's meet in the middle um, and some people call this the spitting gap because uh, kids used to spit down here <laughs> on people as a joke not really funny but um, yeah <laughs> so if you want to travel within Sweden you can look up your times and everything and which train you want to take and here over here in the corner you can buy your ticket um, there's two different types of tickets when it comes to public transport you have the, um, the green machines here which um, as you can see it says SJ so SJ is for all travel outside of um, outside of Stockholm so it's not for within Stockholm. It's, um, for example, to Gothenburg or Malmö, things like that. So it's the green machines. There you buy the, the tickets for traveling outside of Stockholm. And then if you go downstairs, you buy your tickets for within Stockholm. So there you can buy tickets for metro, train, bus, things like that. Um, within the larger district of Stockholm. So upstairs is Sweden and downstairs Stockholm. It doesn't get easier than that.
So in here, there's two different things. There's the metro and the train. Uh, the metro is more for the inner city. And um, yeah, it stops more often. And then you have the train, which is a little bit faster and uh, goes a bit further distances. So let's have a look here. So just to show you an example, I will go into the metro and to see how it works. So everything has those gates that you can go through. You can see here those green things and there you have the red things. Um, so red means you can't go through and green means you go through and then you have this blue card that you just put on here it bleeps and you go through we're actually not going with the subway right now so I'll go back that's how it works on this side you have the trains so that's the cool thing like once you're in you're in so you can switch between the, the metro and the train so you don't have to go again through the gates um, so it's one system you use one blue card for all the different types of public transport see it's green again so I go out when you go out you don't have to show your um, you don't have to show your card that's actually pretty cool I know in some countries you have to bleep in and out but in Stockholm you only have to do it when you go in Take a right here, we're going back. This is quite good to know as well that here on the downstairs we have toilets and also lockers. And it's over there. You can see it very big here, toilets. Um, there's actually even showers in these toilets. So if you're like going into like a night train or whatever, like long distance train, it's really good to Maybe put your stuff in the locker and, and take a shower there because um, yeah, that's a good a good opportunity. I'm not sure how much it is, but it's probably about four or five euros for a shower, and I think they even give you towels. So I think a lot of the homeless people use this uh, functionality. So now we're back up in the main hall. show you the main entrance so just a little reminder tourist information this is the main hall downstairs you have the metro and the trains within Stockholm and over there is the bus terminal
All right. So now we're back at the main entrance here at the fountain. Turn around to show. Alright, thank you for watching and uh, see you guys next time.